Hello, everyone, again. So let's start the webinar now. Good evening, everyone. Welcome to Manupatra's webinar series on how to use technology tools for increased efficiency in legal operations. We have witnessed the rapid expanse of technology in our lives and the way we work. Holding true for even the legal fraternity, technology has streamlined processes, enhanced access to justice, and reshaped how law is practiced and experienced. Manupatra has always resolved to be a driving force for the integration of technology in legal processes for 24 years now. A carefully curated and developed suite of SaaS products are offered by Manupatra for both law professionals and students, at the heart of which has always been the idea to develop tools and mechanisms that help professionals and students of law in their everyday processes. With the wonders of technology, Manupatra hopes to bring ease of process and reduction in time, effort, and cost investment in legal operations. With this, let's begin today's webinar session on IPR Management 101 with my colleague, Mr. Abhay Kapoor. Hi, very good afternoon to everybody joining this session. Thank you for joining, first of all, registering in such big numbers. And then, of course, we have a good attendance also. Hopefully, the number will rise as we proceed with the presentation. So this particular presentation is for lawyers and advocates in terms of, uh, am I audible? Can you just confirm somebody, confirm it on chat that am I audible to you guys? Great. Thank you, Anjana ma'am. Okay. So as I was saying, this particular series, we have been doing it for some time. Earlier, we had had sessions on compliance management, contract management, matter management. So the idea behind this series is that technology often is presented to lawyers as a kind of a boogeyman, that artificial intelligence is coming, natural language processing is coming in the future, they're coming for your jobs. So at Manupatra, our experience has been a little different. We have been very closely working with lawyers and corporate professionals for last 24 years. What we have seen is that you work very hard, like 8 p.m., 9 p.m., law offices are on mostly. And this is true for the corporate houses also. Like we get calls at, uh, at Saturdays, Sundays, like they are working on something or the other. So with this kind of a number of things on your plate, it becomes very, very important for you to use technology to make things more efficient. And that is what the technology today is for. It is for your disposal in terms of what can be managed, what can be automated, what can be assigned, what has to not be shared because it is already on the cloud. So that is what we are looking for in this particular demo also. So we'll be focusing on how technology can help as an intellectual property. You might be practicing in trademarks, you might be practicing in patents, or there might be somebody in the audience who is just somebody like me who's a trademark enthusiast. Uh, like they are just learning on in terms of what to do and how to do. So in this session, we'll start from the scratch. We'll start from right from the beginning. And what are the different things that we keep on layering on in terms of the technology that is available to you? Okay. So let's just start with the presentation with the second slide. Why IPR? Why is it so important that a complete field of legal knowledge has been dedicated to IPR and there are so many trademark attorneys, there is so much interest in this area. Uh, first of all is IPR something is an intellectual asset for a company. It's an asset that is not physical, but it is in the, like, it's a virtual asset for a company. So that um, for a Coca-Cola, the, uh, the secret, the, the recipe for it, it's very, very important for its business survival. Today, day and age, we are, a lot of companies are digital companies. So a Zomato just has an app. So it has a logo and it has an app. And so, there are many other companies that are coming up in digital space. So for anybody who is good at Photoshop, who knows to, to do things or the other, or who's good at internet also, it's very easy to mimic a reputation that is built over the years by a company, by a product and to replicate it. So IPR in today's day and age has become more and more important. And this we are seeing with in, in terms of our interaction with corporates, in terms of the advocates also, the rise in this field in last five or 10 years have been huge. 
so again this is not only a very important like into day to day like in terms of whenever you are launching a new product you are researching whether what is kind of available in times of trademarks and kind of whether the process was patented or not or if you have developed something it becomes very very important to preserve your own interest by registering it so again this ipr is a very important piece so for somebody who is a student who is uh, excited about inventions who is excited about protecting or giving a right kind of rights to the developers so that is something that you might need to go into uh, this third part of it is like what are the different kinds of uh, IPRs that are available so I am also a layman I'm not a legal person I'll just try to explain whatever I have understood in my last few years with Manupatra so one is the first is the patent so patent is a process oriented uh, like a pro like whenever you are registering something that is a process say suppose amazon had this pro patent for a single click shopping so anytime you are shopping from amazon app you can just from a single click you can buy that particular item so this particular process was patented by amazon for 10 years in 2017 or 18 this got um, available for the rest of the public so again this becomes an important thing for me let's use this so again, this becomes a very important thing. So if I'm like doing some kind of an innovation, I can patent that process. Trademark is like a name. It might be a copyright in terms of the, if there is a coin name for a particular company, suppose what do you think when you think of Coca-Cola? What is the brand name that comes to you? Or what is the logo that comes to you when you think of Apple? So these are the things that you recognize by a brand from. So that are you, again, this becomes the name of the brand and this the logo becomes the name of the brand that becomes very very important copyright is sometimes like if you are creating something like you are an artist you are a music composer uh, so anything that you are creating tomorrow you started you created a music and somebody else is using it on their ad own advertisement so can you how do you stop it like because you are the creator you should have some kind of royalty so that kind of uh, covers in copyright like in terms of whatever rights are there because i am the originator of a particular content there might be trade secrets that we discussed like in coca-cola there is a secret ingredient secret recipe similarly for mcdonald's also if you are aware there, there is in their sauce they have some ingredients that get manufactured at one head office and gets distributed to different areas geographical indicators are where um, like suppose basmati rice is a ge geographical indicator there was a, a fight between orissa and west bengal in terms of who the rasgulla belongs to so again that is uh, where like from which geography this particular in, uh, product is coming that is also an indicator uh, model or design you use design like you use cameras you use mobile phones so a lot of uh, these players are doing a lot of in innovation in the design part of things like how to hold it flip cameras and all that so you can also register your design so that nobody else because you have created this nobody else is able to use it for some time uh, till the time you are able to reap benefit from it Okay, the third one is the plants and the like whatever seeds. If you are if you are in that agriculture industry, if you want to, if you have created some hybrid seeds, those can also be registered by the IPR. So these are the different kinds of IPRs that are available in India. And if you are a lawyer, you might be working with a trademark, you might be a patent, or you might be working with uh, like all these different kind of uh, like uh, methods to register yourself or you are working for a corporate and you are also handling different kinds of clients. So with this comes a lot of information. Okay. So for this information, you are stuck with a different, different number of websites. You go, you have 10, 15 tabs open and you are working on these tabs regularly. So in terms of accessing particular information, you have to go to and fro from one portal to another to find something and so the idea is to bring all that information, whatever the information is there, you bring it from different sources, you put it in one particular source where you're able to uh, put this scattered information in one place. Again, the second information that is important to you is dates because dates in today's day and age is very, very important. You have sent a notice how how often you should revert or like if there is some important filing to be done, when is to be scheduled, if there is a renewal for some, uh, your client patent is there. So how do, how do you remember it? 
So again, these become very, very important and you, you are going back home and tomorrow you have to remember that this particular thing has to be done. So again, it takes up your mental space. It takes up your, um, uh, takes up somebody else's, you, you are worrying about this point in time. So if you have a system in place, which takes care of this, which takes care of all the alerts, which takes care of all the reminders. So that will be a big plus for you in terms of boosting your productivity and boost, uh, doing, allowing you to kind, do the kind of work that you want to do. The third will be the large number of documents. Now we have been working with advocates. I personally have been going with two advocates offices for seven years and we see a lot of documents. They're like kitchens filled of documents, their offices filled with documents. So again, this, and these are important documents. So they are, uh, they don't want to throw them away because they might require it in future. But if they want to look for something, they are they're shouting at the clerk or shouting at the junior, like, where is that document? I want it tomorrow for the meeting. So again, being an IPR lawyer also, if you have to travel a lot, if you have to give presentations to the, uh, to your client. So this becomes important to store all your documents at one particular place. If anybody requires it, it's very easily to retrieve. So again, this becomes important for you. The fourth one is uh, the most important, which is how do you preserve the conflict of interest? Suppose you have filed for something, you have to make sure that nobody else has opposed it. Everything is going on seamlessly or before even filing a particular uh, trademark, you have to be ensured that you have done, done your research properly so that your client is not wasting uh, his time or you are advising him in terms of filing the right patent. So research becomes a lot important for you. So this is uh, the kind of problems that a lawyer that is working in IPR industry face today. There's a lot of different things there. So much data, there is so much information and how do you go to one portal and um, get most of the solutions? So this is where uh, technology comes in. So I'll just quickly take you through what, like a kind of a tool that I am using in terms of managing your compliance, sorry, uh, IPRs. So let's go to the system. So one is, this is where first one will take me is my dashboard. So dashboard, basically it's an IPR dashboard. So this is customized for IPR. I can just see how many IPs were there, how many are registered types of IPR. So day in and day out, I don't even recall like how many IPR we are working with, what is happening with what, but this dashboard gives me a broad idea on what is on my plate. If anything is on my calendar also, I can see like this particular date, this has to be done. So again, this gives me an overall idea on what is happening. So a one portal, I go into this, I'll be able to see the different IPR related things that are there. Okay. In IPR, we have covered multiple things. So there are like trademarks, copyright, patent, GI design. So not a lot of tools are doing that, like combining all these four or five things. Even like if you are doing, some might be doing just trademarks, some might be doing patents. So if you're able to find a tool that is able to cover all these different things, that is very good for you. If you are an IPR firm, or even if you're an organization, like a pharmaceutical company that is more interested in uh, preserving their IPR, you should have one portal that is able to manage all these different things. Okay. The second one, like if I go to my trademark part, there will be, this is the first thing that I get, which is my IPR trade search. So if I go here, trademark search, so this is one search option. Normally I go to the registry's website. So I go into there, I put in the keyword and I search. So normally what happens is the IPR registry might be down. So it has a, like a reputation of being down. <laughs> so if, whenever you are going there, it might not be working or there might be some issue. So you are not able to do your research or you have to wait for a certain point in time to do your research. Okay. Plus the search engine or plus the search engine that they use is not very good in terms of it's sluggish, it searches, but it gets hanged or there is a very limited parameters that are available there. So again, what we are giving here is you give, uh, like you search for a keyword, it searches in the entire different class. You don't, you are not bound by like, like if you are searching for my case, I can search all across different classes that are available. Or if I'm interested in a particular class, I can select also. So this flexibility is there. If I want to search for a particular like status, like where accepting and advertised are there, that can be done. If I'm interested in a particular region, I'm not bothered about what happened like 10 years ago. I'm just concerned in last five years. So I can give a date range also. I can search this. So again, limits my search. I don't have to do read much. I just put in the right kind of filters and I'll able to get to them, get to my options. So this is, I'm searched for my case. And this is giving me the results for my case, who is the proprietor, what is the status. 
whether this was opposed or registered. So this is updated as per today. So you are getting the same information that you are getting in the registry, but you are getting it in a more seamless way and with different filters. Again, if I want to see for class 35, I, I want to uh, like read more. Suppose I'm interested, I can click onto this. It'll give me more information. Like what is the class? What is the address of the agent? What is the mark? What is the image that they have used? So all this information is available to me. Suppose I found this interesting. I can send it over to my client. Okay. So somebody from Manupatra, I can share it with them. Like this is the, uh, this is available on the code site from here. So directly I am given an option to export it in the Excel from the email. So again, sending it to the client also becomes easier for you. Okay. The next part will be in terms of the document details. So all the documents, there might be n number of documents that are there on the site. So I can see all these documents, general copies, replies. So all these documents, whatever resources are available there also are available here so that you can download it and you can review it at your own time. As in terms, there was some opposition file. So again, these are the details where opposition related documents are available separately. So if you are interested more in that, that you can go into. Again, I have an option to add it as a tracker. So in future, if there is a status change, suppose I put it for uh, registration and there is some, some issue has come up, somebody has opposed it or there is some status change. Many a time we don't know, like we don't know, we don't go to the IPR registry all the time. So we are not aware of the process. So what this system does is it gives you an alert. So it makes you easier. You find out that this is, this is a new uh, change on a particular trademark that you are trying to file and you are able to take quick action. So again, that you are, you don't have to go back again to the site again and again to find out what is happening today. Is it updated today? No. Everything, whenever the status change, you are getting a remark. So makes my job a lot easier. I can also email this tracker to somebody if I want to send this information to somebody else. Uh, the third one is like, this is, very, very crucial, which is I want to see like, which is the party which has filed an opposition to like, who is, who is the opponent's name? So opponent's name, I can see from here. I can see their um, uh, name of the company. I can see the address. I can see who has registered it. So also it becomes very easy for me. If somebody is opposed to my particular trademark, I can directly go to them. I can reach out to them. What is the issue? I can settle them for in different ways. So like it becomes one tool where I go to all my trademark related queries. I just put in my keywords. I put in my trade, uh, like whatever I have to put it for tracking. I can very easily do it from here. And once this is available in my tracker, this is, it will be shown like this. Again, I can see the status as on today. And because it is uh, tracking this particular application number, anytime there is a status chain that is happening on registry, that will get updated here and I'll be informed accordingly. So mix. So I don't have to follow the IPR registry website again and again. Okay. If I want to like uh, download this data, so there is an also an option where you can export it into an Excel format or a PDF format. So suppose you are doing like you want to an Excel format of all the data that was there and you want to send it to your client, like on this particular keyword, these are the options that are available to you. Would you take a look and get back to me? So again, I can export it to an Excel, export it to a PDF format and share it over a mail to the client. So that option is also available. So researching my particular list becomes easy. I can also track it from here. And if I go into the next option where I can like whatever research I've done in the past, I can use it for archive or there is, this is interesting. This is my list. So these, these are all the trademark lists that I'm currently handling. So this is basically my portfolio for the organization. So I can see it from here. What we have seen in corporates is that there is like from a council point of view, they ask a lot of reports and this might come like a request sporadically. They can ask you like this particular report has to be sent today. Please send it today. We have a board meeting tomorrow. So again, if you want to send it for a particular client, you will be able to generate this report, whatever fields that you would want to see for this. What is the number? What all details were there? So that can be done. All this information, whatever you want it to be there. That is that can be captured into this and you can export it into an Excel format. Plus you get an option to add the word document into this. So whatever documents were there, like forms in IPR, there are multiple, like there might be rates, there might be other documents that are important. These are evidences 
if it this post goes to court tomorrow these are all the evidences that you would need tomorrow to uh, present or to argue for your matter so this becomes very very important to ensure that all the documents all these things were stored on time so you can also store your documents from the same system once you have stored it this becomes like this so i can i'll be able to store it from one folder so all my folders are stored here if I want to share it with some of my colleagues, suppose my uh, clients want it tomorrow, I can share this invoices folder to them so that they are able to make the payments from here. Uh, I want to share the evidence with my some other associates there that can be done. Even if I'm working online, say suppose two of us are working on a trademark, some uh, document, suppose I've given it to my user to update something. So they'll be able to do it. And whenever they make a change, I'll be able to see it from here. Okay, so we can collaboratively work on a, a cloud so anytime uh, we two are exchanging comments because of course this is a creative process in terms of defending these uh, clients so any feedback that is coming from different sources it's very very important so you can keep those feedback from the system and make the best document that is possible uh, you can also create a kind of a history like anytime you have sending it to the client they are reverting it back you want to see the different versions of the same so that can also be done so there are multiple versions there. File name and free text. So sometimes you don't remember what is the name of the file, but you remember the text. You can search within the text also from the same. Okay, so this was for my IPR. I have searched for trademarks. I have searched for list. There is another search option that is available that is of proprietor. So that I'll go into the next one, which is like if I have a client, somebody has approached me, knocked my door. I am looking for this particular, I'm from this company and I want to take care of the trademarks of the company. So I can search with that particular party name, Nestle, or you can do a random research on your own. You can put in, this is the particular company name that is there, Nestle. I can search on Nestle and it will show me all the results that are there on Nestle. So if I click onto this, I'll show whatever trademarks have been filed by the name Nestle in the in the past that are all available to me in this. I can again, if I want to send it to my colleague so that he can also review, I can ex, ex, uh, like send it over an email here. So again, becomes easy if you are researching in terms for a proprietor that can also be done. If you are researching for an agent, suppose you are a corporate now or you are like somebody partnering with some other IPR firm and you want to do a research on them, like what kind of work they have done in the past or what is their history like, what is their specialization like. So here there is also one category which is an agent search. I can go to trademark, go to agent search and like whichever law firm I am interested in, I can search by their name and it gives me all the results. Whatever marks they have filed in the past, what is the status, what was the class, what was the date of application, other details, all that information is available to me, which I can again use to exporting into an Excel and sending it to somebody else from here. So again, generating a report is on the go is one thing and sending it all this is also important. That becomes also easier from this tool. Okay, so this is a lot of information and right now we have just focused on trademark only. So there are like copyrights, there are patents that you can track from here. So copyright, you can also search for like any reporter or any, any other keyword that you have. You can also search by diary. Similar options are available. You will be able to put it for tracking. You will be able to get the alerts. You can store documents. Everything can be done. So these are for copyrights or there might be for... Um, uh, patents like uh, I was uh, like push notification. So who has registered it? What was the name of the application? What were, what was the uh, technology about? So you can click here, get more information about what was the patent process. So all that information is also available to you here. You can just search by like any keyword that you are interested in, or you can search by the application number. There is also an advanced search where you can also search between like last five years i'm like last five years only i'm interested in i can search between those periods before that i'm not much interested that can also be done i can search by the name of the applicant also like how many apple have filed how many microsoft has filed over the years so for a research perspective also it's very very good in terms of finding the right results geographical indicators again i've searched for basmati where i am able to search what like who has registered with the name basmati so i can get all the information here with geographical areas, uh, this particular Basmati rice belongs to, I can see from here, Punjab and other uh, states are there. So what is the application number? The Who has registered it? What is the address? All that information is available, which can also be downloaded in a report format. 
Um, this is a design. So again, similar design is available where you can search on a particular, uh, like whatever keyword that you want to type and it will give you results on that. So again, makes it easy. Again, tracking and every, all those features that are available with trademarks are also available from here. There are certain resources also that are available where we are pushing some articles that is uh, in the system. So uh, this is like a quick review like of a tool where like this is a kind of thing that is available in the market instead of relying on the existing resources and thinking that one day they will start working better you can you can use one of these tools in terms of managing your ips it will make a lot of difference in terms of how you work in terms of improving the efficiency improving um, different kinds of aspects now that is one part of it there is like once an ipr goes out of the registry there might be a litigation that it becomes okay so litigation again is an ipr related matter also that you are also tracking you might hire somebody else advocate that might be also be there but this is also a court matter that might be there so in the system, there is also one provision where you can add the high court cases also. So it, this might be a Delhi high court case or a or whichever court case. So if this matter goes out from IPR registry, becomes a Supreme Court or a uh, high court case, you will still be able to track it from the system. Okay. And you will still be able to get alerts, orders, everything from the same system. So this makes you a complete kind of a system from one system for I, for all your IPR things. So everything is hyper-connected. You have not gone to any other website. You have not accessed any other tool. Just from the same website, logging in, you can do it or anybody else from your team can do it. So I think this was a quick run through the system. If any queries are there, we have with us uh, Ms. Disha, who is uh, from the trade from the IPR team. She'll be happy to answer all your queries. I'll just share my screen again. Right. Any queries, please feel free to drop them in the chat window. We uh, Manu Kamna is there. She'll read it out and show that we are able to answer it. Yeah, please. Right, Abhisa. Thank you so much for that uh, session. It was great. So we had we have received few questions in the chat. Uh, we had also received few questions at the time of registrations. So let's start with the chat uh, question that we had received. Uh, this is. Is this search option there in patent dashboard? I believe this was addressed as you went through the portal. Patent search was uh, reflected. Let's go go uh, go at it again. Yeah. So uh, we like Abhas are already showed in trademark. We have a different portal for uh, patents as well, and you can uh, do your search by uh, application number of the patent, patent number, or in fact the patent name as well. So uh, anything and everything that is there on the application, we have it on the tool and all the details related to the same uh, are available and uh, they are updated as well. Right, thank you so much for that. Uh, we have received few questions at the time of registration. So let's go with those. Uh, there, are question, there are multiple questions about the kind of renewals and reminders that there will be because applications have different statuses, they change and we have to log on to it and, and see them. Does the tool help with that? Yes. So in fact, the whole tool of IPI management is to cater to all the reminders and alerts that uh, that are needed for um, for an IPR attorney or anyone who's dealing with the uh, all the intellectual properties for that matter. So if there's any update, be it a status change or a new document being added or renewal coming up, everything uh, uh, has an alert which is sent on its name to the uh, registered email address on in the tool itself. And that person can receive as many alerts as applicable to their marks or copyrights or patents for that matter. So you don't miss out on any deadline or anything that is happening to your uh, IP. Right. So this means that I will get my alerts as the status changes. Another interesting question that we've received is uh, how does trademark search is any different from the website search? Okay. 
so uh, i think uh, we have already dealt with this right. but but we we'll, we are happy to answer these questions so the difference is basically the different add ons so there's a multi class search in on the ip website we can do a public search only with one class at a time while here we can uh, do a multi class search filter it by proprietor and uh, have a date range that i just want to know the trademarks that have been filed in the last two years or anything for that matter so that is the basic difference and of course the major difference that uh, all that has been uh, noted here is that the website is up and running all the time so uh, it's a saas product it's available 24/7 there is no downtime at all and um, yeah which is a constant or a recurring problem that we are seeing with the ip website although they are up now but uh, issues still remain right uh, this is a very interesting question that we had received at the time of registration uh, what about the details about oppositions and uh, anything related to that like how do i properly get to understand the kind of uh, uh, opposite party that i have to deal with does the tool help me with that so uh, all the details regarding your marks so opposition uh, if the question is on opposition i believe it should be from uh, trademark so i'll just take trademark for example so uh, if you have received an opposition uh, then you get an alert for the same and all the details of the opposite party whether um, the opposition for that matter all the documents that have been uploaded whether it's the first opposition or the reply and so on and so forth they are available and uh, for that matter uh, the opposition details of the company or the firm or the person attorney who is uh, your opposition their details are also available on the website so that you don't have to uh, do go to multiple website for the same information right so i believe that was the end of questions are there any questions that we have please feel free to ask questions related to ipr absolutely we are happy to answer so right we do have questions on costing i believe abhi abhi sir can take this up So for costing, what we can do is we can uh, please feel free to connect us at contact at the rate my uh, manupatra dot com or you can just drop us your phone number at a private chat so we can connect with you on the pricing part. Uh, this is also because the pricing also depends on what the requirements of the user are, but uh, yeah, so it would be great if we could connect. Krishna Rao's okay. So somebody has asked for if we can track competitors' IP. Yeah. So you can track anybody's IP. So there's no limitation that it has to be yours or somebody else. If you are interested in a particular IP, you can just put it in the system. So the I the tool doesn't know that uh, which I which uh, IP you are tracking, right? So it could be yours. It could be your competitors. It could be your let's say your uh, you know future company or anything like that if you want information if you want uh, anything to be tracked or you just want to keep uh, your uh, competitors also in check you can have their ids as well uh, ip is stored in your tracker and uh, the same will be tracked as per your ips only right we do would like we would like to reiterate here that the information that is available on the do list Uh, publicly available in the public domain, yeah. so there is no other uh, uh, information that you have to provide. The entire compilation and the ease of process is what the tool provides, so it helps with that. So, right? Any yeah. any other questions, please? With use of AI, it is all the more difficult for the legal research. Being a PhD work may be repetitive, or same with IPR inventions. I see the question. Okay, so this is with the with the use of AI, it is all the more difficult for a legal research. Being a PhD work may be repetitive, or or same IPR inventions. That is true. Um, um, with the with AI, the kind of IPR and IPR uh, development are there. As a PhD researcher, I can totally imagine. This must be very a a bulk of research to go through. That's why we have the management tool so that uh, mm -hmm. not a lot of information is thrown at the face, and we can uh, filter out and have only that information that is relevant for us for our review. Right. So, if let's, hope. is there any other question? We can wait for two more minutes if there's anyone who's right. Or there is, of course, there is. Our email ID contact at the rate uh, manupatra dot com. Any queries if you have like or if you want to have a one on one session with the team, so please feel free to raise a request there. We are very much receptive 
and within few minutes we'll get a reply with the timing thank you so much ma'am uh, thank you we were very glad that you found the session enlightening that is that is what we were hoping uh, to achieve thank you so much everyone thank you for joining right thank you everybody thank for you. joining this call